I was DJ. We can't have serious conversation. Now you turn up the party. <laughs> Welcome, my people. <laughs> no, we we'll go party after. I have some special, special guests on the flight. I told you, big conversation today. You understand? We're speaking to the future of Ghana, the future of Africa, the future of the world. So, it's very important to turn up your volumes. I already told you. We have guests all the way from the Legacy Girls College. Aha. Uh-huh. And if you're looking at our most recent reference, the under-20 team, the Black Queens, princesses, they won gold for Ghana. Which means that everybody has qualified to win gold for Ghana. <laughs> so, we're going to have a big conversation, have all the ladies introduce themselves, as well as the lovely, lovely Miss Irene is here as a supervisor today. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> Flight time on Guide Radio. Mic check, mic check right now. Uh, 4.23 on the clock. The conversation is taking on right now. Do not go nowhere. Vows DJ has to turn down the heat small so we can focus here. Uh-huh. Calm down. <laughs> Calm down small. And later, maybe we'll get some dance moves. I understand there's a lot of uh, activities in the, in the college there. So we'll get into it. Everything there. I'll turn you down here. Our conversation is going to start shortly. A quick commercial break from our sponsor. So we'll be right back with you on Flight Time. Don't go nowhere. Mike Check 1212 Bakumi Enu. Airborne and listening to only one station, Guide Radio. This is Flight Time. Only on your radio. 91.5. Flight Time on Guide. Amanzaba here, filled with joy at the invitation of Captain Sly. Hey, fly time, don't miss it. Stick and stay glued to fly time. Bless up. Amanzaba here. I just went me saw the doma. I just keep and go. My so chame kwame live on fly time. Charlie, keep listening. Stay tuned. This is where the truth is. This is where the truth is. Welcome if you just joined us. I'm going to turn the mics on. I'll start with Miss Irene here. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Wonderful. Looking lovely as always. Uh-huh. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, please introduce yourself to the lovely audience. Okay, so I'm Mrs. Irene Hagen. I'm the marketing and projects manager of Legacy Girls College in Akuse. Marketing and... Uh, projects manager. Projects manager. Yep. <laughs> All right, go to check in with our uh, lovely guest. Introduce yourself for me. Okay, <clears throat> sorry, I'm I'm Kadita Agbawanyo, head girl of Legacy Girls College. Kadita. Yeah. Wow, wonderful name. <laughs> Welcome to flight time, Kadita. Thank you. All right, now we check in. Hi, I'm Golda Amagashi, the co-founder of the school's public speaking and debate society. Golda. Yes, please. Public speaking and debate. Yes, please. I love that about you. You know, we're going to sign you up here. We have debates on here. <laughs> uh-huh. Who's the next guest on here? Um, hi, my name is Eugenia Ipoadmantasunu. I am the deputy head girl and also a co-founder of the school's public speaking and debate society. I need you guys to pay attention right now. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? Uh, I love the energy and the confidence. The deputy head debaters are here. Yeah. As a matter of fact, last debate we were having with the university people. Now, I actually want to have a debate with um, the college girls versus the university people. Mm-hmm. Aha! Okay. <laughs> Hello, Ashasi University. Watch out. We have a match for you. <laughs> now, Irene, yeah. let's start today. If I am somebody who's wondering what's happening here. Mm-hmm. If you could give me a summary of what Legacy Girls College is about. Okay. So Legacy Girls College is Ghana's first all-girls private boarding school and is located in Akuse. So it's founded by Dr. Mrs. Ellen Hagen and Mrs. A.C. Anosaki. Our first... Um, our first group of students started school in the 2015-2016 academic year. Right. So we are just um, about eight years old. But wow. so far, we've been doing great in Ghana. I think wow. so. Wonderful. Eight years old. Yeah. That's a whole adult, young adults running around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, the head girl here, hmm? she's on here. I, I'm just curious. When, when did you uh, start your admission? When did you get in school? How old were you? How old was I? Yeah. I think I was 15. Okay. Yeah, it was 
15 January 2021. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was 15 at the time. So I turned 16 in my first year. Wow. Sweet 16. <laughs> you have one year in the school. Give me a summary of your experience in the Legacy College. Okay, I would say it's everything I've expected. Okay. Yes. So growing up, I was like, I want to go to a mixed school. But then I got to Form 3 and I was like, I think I like the school because I saw it on the billboards and I was like, oh, they look nice. They Why not? <laughs> <laughs> and entering, I was excited. Like everything I expected. Mm. Yeah. Now, if I asked you, what's one thing? You were 15 into 16. What's one thing that has really changed you in the school? Okay, so I wasn't as confident as okay. I I am today. Mm-hmm. So being in Legacy, having all the talks, all the sessions with successful people has actually changed me, and I appreciate Legacy for that. Wow. Yeah. This is wonderful, man, because one of my issues with Ghana and education, yeah, I was telling you, the, yeah. they, we have a timid culture. Yep. Instead of empowering the students, we have, uh, I don't know where it started from, mm. We have a system where it's, it's supposed to, hey, be humble, keep quiet, don't talk, calm down, relax. Yeah. yeah. And I'm not sensing that from the legacy girls. No, that's not a culture. All right. <laughs> All so right. our motto is to make your mark and leave a legacy. You can't make your mark hiding under like a bucket, you know. So we are out there shining our light in every corner. That's who we are. Shine the lights for the beautiful girls. <laughs> now where are my debate girls at? You know, let's get some debate right now. Who's here with me? Let, let's start with you, the founder of the debate club. Co-founder, actually. Co- co-founder, yes. okay. <laughs> How has your experience been in school? It's been amazing. It, Legacy has changed the way I think. Because growing up, I first did the Ghanaian system before moving to do the Cambridge system because Legacy offers both the Cambridge and then the WASI program. And then the curriculum is run in such a way that you're taught to be very analytical and a critical thinker. So I think that has shaped the way I view the world now. Wow. Critical thinkers. We need people like this to develop our country. Absolutely. I'm so excited. I don't know if you guys understand how excited and refreshing it is. Yes, because we have uh, students here, even at the university level, they still have that condition and training and you're still a little timid and you know shy, I want to be in the background. I'm like, you're trying to lead something. You're trying to create something. You can't hide. Now, the founder of the Big Club, where are you, miss? I'm here. Okay, talk to me. How's your experience been? Um, it's been fulfilling in the sense that there were many talents that I already had before coming to Legacy. Right. But Legacy helped me to actually develop these talents and make them quite resourceful and quite and make them more of services to other people. In the sense that I'm able to actually hone these talents and create something that is beautiful and that beneficial to not only me, but to the school and to the general world around me. So that's really amazing. That is really amazing. Haha. Uh-huh. Well spoke. Give me some of these talents because we are creative people here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what's what's your vibe? Um, in terms of talent, mm-hmm. um, you can you can talk about public speaking as mm-hmm. one of the talents the school has really honed. Yeah. You can talk of um, perhaps even singing as one of the talents the school has really honed. Hey, you're the right place then. <laughs> We're gonna have a singing session before you leave here. <laughs> you can talk about um, even volleyball and football, which I do play in school. The okay. school has really helped me develop that. Um, we could talk of even um, formal writing. The school has really helped me um, actually understand the techniques in which academic writing should be honed and how I should actually like even apply that in my general life. So those have been pretty amazing to develop. Pretty amazing. I agree with you, love. Now, remind us how old you are. I'm currently 17. Okay. I, I need... I need people to understand that because <laughs> <laughs> they, may think to, like, they may think they're talking to real old people. Yes. yes they're young adults. Young adults. <laughs> and this is okay and we actually want and need more in our country and economy. Yeah. Yeah. Very well spoken. Did did they prep you guys for the interview? Is that what happened? No. <laughs> <laughs> Very well spoken. Why and how uh, did you start the debate club? 
at such a young age? Okay. So, this dream came after the school allowed us to attend our first competition, which was the Orators Public Speaking Competition. After that, we realized that with every comp- with every competition that we had to do, we'd have to find a new set of people to train. And people were asking why we always had to find new speakers and why we don't recycle our speakers. So we decided that, okay, instead of having to train new girls all the time for every competition that the school has to do, we'll just come up with a society that has a set of people that are always ready to attend competitions, like every single time there's a competition. Wow. I, w- I want to see your opponents now. <laughs> <laughs> the people who compete now. Now, legacy. So what is, uh, maybe we'll go to Irene on this one. Okay. What do you, do you look for in when, when people are applying? Okay, so we first of all ask the those who are interested to fill the application form, which they can find online, and then they sit for an entrance exam. I know. So the the what Ghanaians are used to is to write your BEC and then use your BEC results to apply right. to school. But we have a system of selecting the privileged few. Mm. <laughs> so you have to write our exam, pass, okay. and. We, um, our exam is also designed in such a way that we don't just look at the academic strengths. We have portions for logical reasoning that, and a bit of aptitude test as well. So we right. are able to kind of on paper see who we are um, okay. bringing to school yeah. before you even step in. So that's the first step. And the rest is up to you to be able to abide by the school rules and then come out on top. Hey, come out on top and leave a legacy. Yeah. Now, with the school <laughs> format, yeah. this is one very important area Mm. stem and uh steam yeah right uh the one with the arts and one without the arts which one do you have in your school which structure okay so we we have i would say we have both um one is actually integrated into our curriculum the other one we are we don't have like a, a creative art space because uh, we don't have the visual arts and home economics department yet. Okay. But we do give um, our girls the opportunity to express themselves. Mm-hmm. So we have art clubs. We have um, homemaking clubs. Mm-hmm. And we also have other clubs that bring out our public speaking skills, like right. she mentioned. So there's still an avenue, even though it is not um, totally integrated into our um, day-to-day um, classroom work. Okay. But we have that. And we also have a lot of... Um, systems where whatever is taught in the classroom mm-hmm. the children actually go to the field of work to experience it so we have field trips in okay. the um, um industry in the to, okay. to see what what you are learning and to see how it can be applied in into your your school work so I'll, I'll let them speak of other places they've been this term and also the opportunities they've had to go even internationally mm. to go and compete in stem mm-hmm. in in art mm. you know so they are here. They, they will talk for themselves. Wonderful. Uh, head girl. Okay. All right. Talk to us. Um, so to start in year 10, that was my first year, I had the opportunity to join the Reuters Competition Group. Okay. Yes. So I was part of the... I wasn't exactly a speaker, but then my inputs actually did help to develop the speakers. There you go. Yeah. Then um, I would talk about field trips. For science students... We had GAEC, so Ghana Atomic Energy Commission, mm. and we got to tour the place into the systems. Um, we even got to see the nuclear plants. Right. Yeah. So that's helped us to interact with everything that we're being taught in school. So it's practical. Yeah. Are you studying science? Yeah, I'm doing science. Oh, I see. Which aspect of science? Some of us, we, we, we're not friendly with science. Okay, yeah? so I'm doing WASI science with okay. biology, chemistry. Anyway, no, I do chemistry, <laughs> physics, mm. elective math, and ICT. I don't do biology. Okay. Yeah. So I'll be moving more into computer science, software engineering, data science. Yeah. What informed that decision? Is that your passion? Yeah, that's my passion. Really? Yeah. What do you want to do with that? What's the outcome goal? Um, what are you probably at? to own a tech firm in Ghana. Nice. Yeah. Hopefully surpassing MTN and tax paying like here. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> talk heavy. You know what I'm saying? This is what we need. Yeah. We need some fresh minds. Uh, move away, MTN. Uh, let's go to the debate clubs. <laughs> Get the programming. All right. What are you studying? 
Okay, I'm 